Today's poem is Map of My Childhood Home. Behind a useless knocked down wall, a cobwebbed passage tunnels deep, and fears of a cave in crawl for miles until an undiscovered city brightens around a bend like a pile of gold. Tied to a Hyperion tree in the Sequoia Forest, past the city's cashew cannery, the longest ladder of zeppelins in the world, can be taken for a ride so high, mountains are hickory tussock caterpillars, thunderheads are sulfur tufts underfoot, thousand mile shadows they cast are skies dry, the stars a toss of salt over a desert shoulder shawled in blue. Someday, this side of earth will face the sun when it red giants, but for now, because we don't have to worry for a few more billion years, it is in our blood to return to microscopic places we call ours. It is safe to dive down through airplane shadows, clipping us like blue streak wings of bats. It is safe to parachute down through fireworks, sugar spinning like wisps of an old man's hair. Back in the yard, wait for dusk. That's when surprise lilies are flamingos. Just before dark, their feathers flare into hands and their legs into batons at the ready. Today's salmon poet that I'm going to recommend is Ray Bradbury. His salmon book is I Live by the Invisible, New and Selected Poems. Check it out, salmonpoetry.com, and I'll see you tomorrow.